Hello, I'm going to talk this in this video about um, remembering a lot more now about lifetimes I've had. Um, but your oversoul, is now I, what I understand it to be, is that all your incarnations in any form, whatever physical body you take, it's like stored. It's become. It's like a, it's your soul, your oversoul, and your higher through your higher self when you're on this plane of existence you can connect to that oversoul and you have all the information from all those experiences you can draw upon them and when you are on the earth everything you do is is recorded in the akash the, in the earth's grid all your lifetimes and on all planets is like that and because i've been here many many lifetimes uh, trying to raise the consciousness um, back up, doing my part. Um, I'm really like very connected to this planet, and that's I made the previous video I made about Mother Earth, how I connected with her when doing the Kundalini experience. That's how. That's why because I was a shaman, I was a Tibetan monk, I was a, a healer many times, and um, a mystic, done that, done all those things. That's why I've had many mystical experiences. In, in this lifetime too, even though I was I was being <laughs> going through a hell on earth, basically a kind of thing for the last 25 years, 30 years, but you know being attacked quite often, being dealing with the sickness, I kept coming back, not giving up, not giving up, not giving up. That's what I'm trying to say. You all have this power that that source, the power within you, within all of us. You have to go within to to connect with it. I mean, looking in the outside world is not going to do it. Until you start doing that, you won't understand what I'm saying fully until you start doing it and bringing, connecting with your higher self. Um, I remember during the, my Lemurian lifetimes, we, we, would, um, we were able to leave our bodies, astral project, just leave our bodies and go into the next dimension. And if we had something we wanted to get information we needed or or work something out in the astral because you create with thought there too. It's just not as fast or as um, uh, solid in form, basically. Um, yeah, I think that's the way to put it. But in the astral, you do the same thing in this in the next dimension. And um, I remember doing that. We we would we were able to go to different timelines and be consciously aware of that. I've had that experience too in this lifetime. Uh, during my Kundalini experience, I was able to do that. I was, I was going back and forth to three different type line, timelines. There was things were just different, a little bit different in each timeline. I'd walk, like I'd say, give an example, I'd walk to the store and say a light pole was on one side of the sidewalk. And then a few days later, I'd walk and it'd be on the other side of the sidewalk. Now, because I was consciously aware, I was open I was, you know, having this uh, Kundalini experience. My consciousness was raised very high. I could, no I noticed it. You know, they, oh wow, that's different. That's that pole was on the other side a few days ago. Now it's over here, and uh, different things like that. Little small things, but also like they call it the Mandela effect. Well, it's real. It's real. I actually had the experience when during my Kundalini when I was playing cards. I said it on a previous video, but I'll say it one more time with friends. And I felt this wave coming, this timeline change coming. And I, f I could actually feel it coming. It was strong. And boom. And when it hit, I was looking at my cards I was holding in my hands. And they changed. I was like, wow. Okay, I just had, I remember what I had before that. It was, it was an amazing experience. Like time just shifted. But I, I still was the same person. But my card shifted, changed. It's an amazing experience to have that. That's, this is what I'm talking about, how consciousness is king. Raise your consciousness, and you can only do that through working on yourself, meditation, going within, all these things. Okay, um, I also wanted to say about, talk about in this video, sorry if I'm going fast, but I'm feeling better now. I got more energy, so I can think clearer and um, have more energy. I want to get, you know, get more things out, things uh, I, I've experienced out and talk about things. Time is a conscious construct, okay? 
Now, what I mean by that is that it's a belief system. If you believe that time exists, it will exist for you. Okay? It's that, believe me, it, it's the truth. It's that simple. Time will exist if you believe it does. It's a conscious construct. After so many lifetimes, I was told like, by my galactic family that I've lived about 10 billion lifetimes already. It's quite a bit. So, after all those lifetimes, I think I've got enough conscious grasp on how time works from different, <laughs> different places and on this earth. Why I say that too is during the Kundalini experience, I never talked about this because I was hesitant. I was thinking, should I talk about this? People are going to, I don't know if they're going to really believe this, but uh, you know what? I'm just going to say, it's a, this is what happened to me. During the Kundalini experience, I uh, was walking, crossing the street, and it was like really almost full-blown Kundalini. It was like really strong. I slowed time down just for a few seconds, but I slowed it down. That's how powerful your consciousness is, okay? Because I, I believed it could be done, number one. And number two, my consciousness was very high, higher, higher state of conscious being. I, I, you slow, anybody could do this. This is where we're headed as, as beings, our consciousness and our, our abilities. And much more. When I, Source showed me when I, had, when I connected with Source fully, and I went up, and I, with that creator of this universe, and I could see the whole universe. It was like I could see the whole, what was the plan, the, the, what's gonna, what what's wants to be done for all of us in time. And it's beautiful, traveling in space. We're going to do incredible things. I can't remember it all now, but uh, little bits I get still get because I'm back down on Earth. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's basically just want to talk about time and how it's a conscious construct and, and to go within, connect with your higher self. Through your higher self, you can connect to your oversoul, to source. And you have all that knowledge that everything you've experienced in all your past lives is there available to you. All you have to do is believe. Anything is possible, just believe it. Okay? Thank you.